Listening Library presents Frank Einstein and the Antimatter Motor by John Sheska. Read for you by John Sheska and Brian Biggs. Hi, I'm John Sheska, and I'm in the sound studio today recording Frank Einstein and the Antimatter Motor. Well, the cool thing about being in the studio narrating your book is it really brings the story to life in a way you might never have thought of before. Um, I get a chance to really kind of live with each character. You really have to sink yourself into each character and think about, like, what's going on like with Watson right now? Is he being excited? Is he sad? Is he crazy? Um... And the one character that's really hard to get a, a grip on, say, like in this book, is Mr. Chimp. Because I don't think we know what Mr. Chimp is thinking. He's thinking like a chimp. He's thinking, I would like to eat an ant. I would like to beat you up. That's the kind of thing that goes through a chimp mind. When I read my stuff out loud, I always kind of rethink the writing process. It always reminds me, like, when you're writing a story, you should really be telling the story. You Like, you should be driving this thing. So it's kind of nice to get a chance to come in here and read the story and then take that back to how I'm writing the other stories. Because the idea is, like, just keep that thing moving. Keep the action going. Keep the characters, like, running all over this scene and really, like, driven by what they got to find out. What they have to, what they have to learn, what they have to escape from. There's so much fun stuff going, and also so many explosions and robots going crazy. Frank hears Clank's internal gears spin and whir. Satisfaction guaranteed. Clank required some help assembling. Continues Clink. We had to make do with mostly leftover parts, so he has the brain of your hug me monkey doll. Hug me. The memory of a cheap digital watch. Huh? But mostly the heart of a Casio AL100R keyboard. 88 keys, 100 rhythms. So another really cool piece about audiobooks is I think they're a really amazing kind of entry for kids who might be struggling with reading otherwise. Um, and I do a lot of work with boys in reading through my Guys Read program online and also the Guys Listen program, which we do. And the idea of that is to maybe get the story first without all the pain of, like, having to slog through a bunch of pages of reading. Like, entertain yourself. Listen to the story. You get to hear the story. You get to hear how a story works. Um, and then you have a reason for being a reader. So I think audiobooks are just a beautiful way to experience reading. They are reading. Listening is part of reading. It's getting a story. So, 384 days in the sound studio to bring this all together and make this happen. No, actually, it didn't take that long. But welcome to the end. You get to hear the audiobook of Frank Einstein and the Antimatter Motor read by me, John Cheska, and Robots by Brian Biggs.